everyone, it's Irene here from Sons Drinks and today I am doing a live tasting review on non-alcoholic rosé wine. Now did you know that rosé is actually the most popular wine, I think in the world, and most famously comes from France, but my goodness we do some amazing beautiful rosés right here in Australia and of course also in, in New Zealand. So where do we start? Each one of these rosés does have something quite special about them. I'm going to start with this one here. It is the Le Petit Atoli and it does come from France but there's something very special about this and it's basically the only non-alcoholic wine in the world that doesn't have any added sulfates or any added preservatives um, in the bottle. So really great for anyone trying to avoid um, the 220 preservative. Let's try it. Look at the color. This is a classic French, a classic French rosé color. Oh, it smells really fruity, doesn't it? Just beautiful, like rose petals and berries. Rose petal and berries. And really light and fluffy. Really light, fluffy, very French. Mm. That is good. I could just ke actually keep drinking that. It's a very light rosé. Beautiful. Look at the colour difference between all of these as well. That's the great thing about rosé. It doesn't matter about the colour. It can be really candy apple. It can be really pale. It doesn't really affect the taste at all. It's just what it looks like. This one here comes from Germany. Now, the great thing about this one is it's actually the best selling non-alcoholic wine brand in the UK. Of course, you can get it right here from Sands Drinks. So that's a different color. That's much more of a candy apple sort of color rosé. Let's try it. Ooh, this smells like wine. This actually smells like you would expect an alcoholic wine to smell like. Mm. That one has a little bit more acidity to it than, than the other ones. They're not as light and fluffy. I'm going to say this one's got some legs, a little bit more of a bite. So if you like something with a bite, that's really great. That's going to be something that you can probably serve at any dinner and nobody would know that it was alcohol free. Now that's, that's nice. Okay. Then we go to the Giessen. As we know, Giessen make great wines that are really low sugar and really low calorie. Now this one ticks all the boxes with low sugar and low calorie, so that's what makes this special. And of course, Giessen make great alcoholic wines, so we would expect something really good from this. Let's try. Look at the color, that's beautiful. So that one is more of a peachy pink, candy apple pink, and that's a really light pink. And again, this smells like wine. Okay, that is dry. And because that is the lowest sugar that I think is on the table, that is actually very, very dry. So this is a really dry rosé. This is from New Zealand. Smells like it's got those legs and it does have that bite to it as well, but that dryness. So if you do not like anything even a tiny bit sweet, this is a great dry option. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Lovely. And then we go to plus and minus. A plus and minus so far for the entire year have been, has been actually my best selling rosé. And it's been the one that's been around the longest. Now there was a 2020 version of this, which was very, very light and fluffy um, and almost too watery for, for my liking. But this is the 2021 vintage and this one is much better. If you tried the 2020 version and you didn't love it, you would love this. It tastes very different. This one's got a lot more bite to it than, um, than that 2020 original one so this is again it's a very pale rosé when people come into my store at freshwater they often say that they like to drink this one with ice cubes now I'm not one to drink any wine with ice cubes but if you are the kind of person that likes to drink a rosé with ice cubes over summer then this is the one for you it is light it is fluffy it is just a great all-rounder and what makes this particularly special apart from the fact that it's all Australian made is it does have the added benefit of skin loving antioxidants as well so I do love anything that's a little bit of a uh, beauty elixir in a in a, in a bottle <laughs> going back to my nourish life days 
Oh, it has all of those antioxidants in it. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. That is so nice. This is my one of my drinks of choice. But I have to say, in comparison to the others, again, it is on a lighter side. And so far, these two are a little bitier. Which one? It, I don't remember which one it was. It's this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Lovely, great all-rounder. Okay. And this one's from New Blood. Now, New Blood um, haven't made a rosé before. They're very new to the market. And I haven't tried it, actually. So it just uh, came into the store only last week. So I'm about to try this one for the first time. Looks like a nice colour. So again, um, a bit of a yellow tinge to it. A bit of a yellowy warm tinge. Okay doesn't really have a smell to it so it feels like it's going to be very light let's try and see what it tastes like okay different this one tastes very different to the others it is dry but it's not light and fluffy it's definitely not like a European style, style rosé it feels like a very Aussie style rosé. It, um, I can feel, it has an after, it definitely has an aftertaste to it. Definitely worth trying if you like rosé um, and it's new to the market. Okay, so there you have it. These are Australia, New Zealand, Germany, and of course, French. Oh boy, you're gonna ask me which one I'd pick, aren't you? Um, if I had to pick one, personally, the one I, like, I know this is the best seller. I know that this is probably the best in market because it doesn't have that added preservative and it's French. But personally, I actually really like this one. You might not all like it. Check out the reviews on the site. But I think I like this one the best. I think this is the closest to sort of almost tricking somebody that it's a real rosé. Um, and then this one is also excellent if you like something that's very dry as well. So I would say these two are probably my pick. But of course, I love all of my children equally. <laughs> um, so go on to uh, Sands Rings, check them out. I've got a lot more non-alcoholic rosés there uh, to try. And um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.